What's good, beautiful people? It's your girl, Ashley Janae, and it's time for another Toolkit Tuesday. Thanks so much for stopping by. This week, we are talking about networking. Now, don't get afraid. If you feel like you're a little bit introverted or maybe shy, there's a way to network for everyone. I'm going to give you my, sim my very simple definition of what networking is. Networking is creating meaningful relationships with a purpose. That's really all it is. Networking is an investment into your future, into your own life, because the more people that you get to know and truly connect with, the further you expand your reach out into the world. And that matters because not only when it comes to maybe finding a job opportunity or things like that in a business sense, but just expanding your perspective about life, learning about new cultures, new people, new views. Networking is important across the board. So I'm going to give you five simple steps that you can use to make sure that your networking experience is positive no matter what. Now, you want to first remember that who you are and just your personal experiences matters to everyone. So you don't have to be nervous about, oh, what do I have to offer or maybe I don't know what to say. Just your experiences alone can help you tremendously. And you have to remember that networking is about the quality of connections that you make and not the quantity of connections that you make. So networking is not a rushed skill that you learn. Networking really is about, about developing those relationships. So a very simple way to get started is number one, say hello. However you decide to greet someone else, whether it's what's up, hello, how are you today, whatever it is, just start with the greeting. That is the first way and best way to make contact, to open up dialogue with someone else. Now, of course, you have all different types of people. Some may be nervous, some may be skeptical, and like, <laughs> what do you want? But as soon as they find out that you're not trying to sell them anything, a lot of times people are very open to just a simple conversation. Secondly, what you want to do, ask a question. How are you today? Well, I'm good, thank you. What is it that you do? And right there, you have created a conversation. Firstly, the person's defenses are down because they now realize, oh, you don't want anything. Secondly, they get an opportunity to talk about themselves. What is it that you do? Or even if you're at a convention where you already know what everyone does, if you're at a real estate convention and you're full of realtors, what kind of real estate are you interested in? It just depends on the situation that you're in. Just ask a question. After you've had the conversation and maybe you've exchanged a few ideas, they've asked you questions and you've learned about them, they've learned about you, the third thing that you wanna do is offer value. Now, that's very simple to do if you use this technique. Whatever the person um, says that they're interested in, whatever the person says that they do, make mental notes in your mind. And instantly your brain will go to work thinking about all the people and places that connect with that idea. And sometimes you might share that same common interest. You can offer value by simply saying this key phrase, hey, I might know someone that I can refer to you. Let me get your information. You offer value. You're not asking for anything from them. You're not asking them to give you anything monetarily or give up their time, it's, hey, I might have someone that I can refer to you. Now, it's very simple. Just use the situation. If there's someone that says, okay, maybe I have a child care business. Do you know any parents? Maybe that can use their business. And you can actually do what you said and tell the person, I met a great contact today that offers child care service. Maybe you can look into their business. They seem like a really great person. We had a nice conversation. Voila, that's it. You offer value in whatever way suits the conversation that you're having. Number four, follow up. Now, this is very, very important. And sometimes it is a step that we often miss. After you've made that first point of contact and you've had your great conversation, if you, if you were able to get the information of the person's text message, email address, social media, whatever it is you want to follow up. Always, always say thank you and it was nice to meet you. 
because somewhere in the midst of your conversation, you may be exchanged ideas or what have you. Always say thank you. Say it was great meeting you today. And then if you want to, you can add in something that you forgot to add in the conversation that you had when you met them. Always follow up. If you follow up and you got that step, check. But now here is the clincher. This is where the building the relationship actually begins. Up until this point, you just made a new friend or just made a new associate. There's no relationship yet. However, the creation of the relationship comes in the fifth and final most important step. Stay connected. Now that's important because when you show interest in someone's life without asking for anything, without any secret gain, then that is really what helps build that relationship. Not only are you in a position to receive value to yourself from whatever that person offers, but now you place yourself in a position to add value to their life as well. When you stay connected, that does not mean that, oh, I just got your Facebook information and I'm going to like a few of your pictures. That doesn't mean, oh, I'm just going to send you this thank you card that I have printed out for every single person that I meet. Staying connected means really investing your time into learning about this, this person's business or maybe the person's family or their interests. Whatever it is, you have to figure out a way to stay connected with that person. Now, that doesn't mean stalk them on a daily basis, but offer feedback on when they put something up like, hey, this is really awesome. I can use this. Again, I know some, some person or this would be really helpful to me or I really appreciate you putting this up. How's your family? How's your children? You said that you were interested in this art gallery. There's an art gallery coming to town. Here's the information in case you want to check it out. It's really very simple. Now, depending on who you are, I told you there's a way to network for everyone. Everyone might not like the big networking events like conferences and seminars. That might not be for you. But there's a networking opportunity every time you get up and walk out of your door. The person that you meet at your favorite coffee spot, that's a networking opportunity. Whoever your male person is, networking opportunity. If you're more into one-on-one -on -one conversations or small groups, there's a way to do it. If you go to an open mic in your city, if that's something you enjoy, you meet people that are like-minded with common interests, easy way to just network by talking to the person right next to you. And remember, it's as easy as starting with hello. It's that simple. Now, outside of those traditional networking areas, there are other ways that you can um, meet new people. You can volunteer. If there is a cause that you care about deeply, like with elderly people or working with children, becoming a mentor, things like that. Very easy way to network. You meet like-minded people with similar passions and interests, and then you already know that you have a common ground. So remember to just start with hello. It's that simple. Now, a good way to push yourself to do this, because I understand that everyone is not extremely outgoing like myself. So an easy way to push yourself to network or just meet new people, create those quality relationships, is to set a goal for yourself. Every day you wake up, depending on how or why you want to network, set a goal for yourself. Today, I'm going to meet one new person. And one is enough because remember I told you it's about the quality of the relationship, not the quantity. Now, for some people, for your business, networking on scale is also important. So some, some days you need to say, I need to meet 40 new people today and it really is that serious and you have to follow up with all 40 people you have to take an interest in all 40 people it just depends on you where you are in your life or your business but it has to be done and it's as simple as setting a goal each and every day so I challenge you this week put this into practice how will you decide to network and what goals will you set for yourself let me know in the comments below if you have any other networking ideas, icebreaker ideas for what you can do instead of just saying hello, let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. If you found value in this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. 
And if you want to come along with the journey, subscribe. Make sure you hit that post notifications button because I have excellent value and content that I'm bringing you on a weekly basis. Thanks again for watching, family. Peace.